Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Lovers, Chief Scientific Officer at Cure Epilepsy. Today, I'm going to help you understand the basics about epilepsy. Let's start by answering a straightforward question. What is epilepsy? To answer that, we first have to know what a seizure is. Our brain cells are constantly sending signals to each other. Typically, these signals are delicately balanced and allow us to think, feel, and function. When those signals are disrupted, or when they're acting abnormally, a person may have a seizure. Many scientists compare a seizure to an electrical storm in the brain that disrupts that delicate balance. Seizures in epilepsy are not the same thing. Epilepsy, which is sometimes referred to as a seizure disorder, is actually a diverse group of neurological symptoms that include recurrent seizures. Epilepsy is a spectrum disorder, which means the type and severity of epilepsy will vary from person to person. You can be diagnosed with epilepsy if you've had two or more unprovoked seizures more than 24 hours apart. Seizures caused by a specific event like a stroke, infection, or brain injury do not necessarily mean that a person has epilepsy. A person can also be diagnosed with epilepsy if they've had one unprovoked seizure and the probability of having more seizures. One in 26 Americans will be diagnosed with epilepsy in their lifetime. Understanding epilepsy and seizures is a critical life skill that you may never need until you do. That's why we created this new resource hub on our website called Understanding Epilepsy. It's a place where people with epilepsy, their caregivers, and their loved ones can find the information they need in an accessible way. Click the link on your screen or the links in the video description to visit our website and explore this great content we've created for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.